hello, hello everybody. Um, as y'all know, I have a few videos posted of how I make the tray tables. And right now I am going to, somebody commented on one of the videos asking how do I epoxy the tray tables. So I'm about to epoxy the tray tables now. So you will be able to see how I do it. Um, you need to have gloves on. I cannot find my gloves. So the only thing I can find is my dog's poop bags. So I'm gonna use the poop bags to put on my hand to put the epoxy on the table. So you're about to see. So if you're new to epoxy, you have to mix exactly equal parts um, to do the tables. Um, I do them in my garage because I know my floor in the garage is very level. So I do it out here. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. You will need a heat gun to get any of the bubbles out. But this is how I do it. Let me come to the other side so y'all can see. You want to make sure your image is completely laid down. If not, it will lift with the epoxy. I pour it in the middle just like that. Sometimes I pour it in the middle. Sometimes I don't. It just depends. But this one, I'm pouring in the middle. And now I'm just going to take and smear this epoxy around. It's hard to do it without no gloves. But I smear the epoxy on. It's going to look crazy like, oh, I ain't getting out of here or there. I'm going to pour some more. That wouldn't have been good if I had spilt that whole cup of epoxy. I've got to find my gloves. Because this is not it. <laughs> but you get the epoxy all on the table. Then you wipe around the sides. Once you get the epoxy on, you can look and see where it need to be poured in. So like there, 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 right here. So I'm not gonna pour much. I'm just gonna pour because it's self leveling. So it's gonna level itself out. gonna level itself out so what I'm trying to do for some reason that sometimes it be spots where it look like no epoxy got on it like the epoxy went around that spot or something so all I'm doing is filling those spots in and it's going to level itself out so now here's table number two 
Since I don't have my gloves, I'm going to do pour this one different. That way when I go to smooth it out or smear it around, it should be easier for me to uh, smear around because I don't, you know, I don't have my gloves, so I gotta find the easiest way possible. And it's best to put a drop cloth sheet down under what you're doing so that the epoxy, when it drips, it won't drip onto your floor, it'll drip onto the drop cloth. I don't do the legs or anything, I only do the tops. Again, going around the sides. And believe it or not, it never drips onto the legs. So before you think you're finished, you need to look at it because you may have areas you need to fill in. This one don't seem to be, if you don't pour enough on it, it won't uh, level like it's supposed to. So, I don't know if y'all can see, but there's bubbles. There are some bubbles, which is normal. It is normal. And this is where the heat gun comes into play. So, I have to get an extension cord. To plug up my heat gun. Oh, I already got one.
is the heat gun that I use right here. I put it on high. I let it heat up. I see a spot that it's like it didn't take. See how long it take the epoxy to bring you down to the end to come out. Okay, since I did this one first, I'm gonna go ahead and Heat it first. I don't know if y'all can see these air bubbles, but I just started one end of the table. And be careful, hold your cord so your cord don't touch the table. I don't know if y'all can see the heat gun making the bubbles come out. Then I kind of stand off and look. So now, I'm gonna hit it with my heat gun. This epoxy on this table ain't running down the way I need it to. So I'm gonna try to scrape. See if I can scrape some to cover this area. Hopefully it hasn't started curing yet.
So I got my epoxy on. I'm gonna hit it one more time with the heat gun. And that is how I apply the epoxy to my table. So as you see, the epoxy is on, it's doing good. Just so y'all can see. The epoxy is on. And now it's just gonna drip. So as it drip, I'm gonna come back out here in about 30 minutes with a straw, I mean not a straw, a popsicle stick. I'm gonna stick it right under here and go around the edges of both tables. I do that like two or three times in half hour increments. That way any buildup that forms under there, it, it'll be, I'll be done took that off. So yeah, that's how I do it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting tutorials.